Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest addition to our inventory, and that being a 1958 Cadillac El Dorado Baritz convertible. Oh my gosh, they only made 815 of these. We'll give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about a very exceptional car, and that being a 1958 Cadillac El Dorado Baritz convertible. Oh my goodness, they only made a little over 800 of these things, so to find one for sale, kind of a special deal. Now you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we'll do a walk around, which will give you more details, we'll do a cold start, and all those extra things that helps you in your buying decisions. Now, you can go right to our website by clicking on the link in the description. It'll take you right to www.ellingsonmotorcars.com, which is our website, and it'll have all the information, pricing, details of this car. Plus, once you're there at our website, you'll see close to 100 plus cars and vehicles that are currently for sale in our inventory. Everything from the 1920s to all the way up into the 1970s and beyonds. If you're looking for your first collector car or your 100th collector car, odds are we probably have it sitting on the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars right here in Rogers. But let's get into the, all the details of this truly remarkable automobile. Cadillac in 1958 was a really special year simply because there were a lot of changes. The country itself was in kind of a downturn, recession type period, so automotive sales were down a little bit. But that gave Cadillac an opportunity because they did a lot of changes from the 57 to 58. Probably the most obvious change, of course, is the dual headlights. Dual headlights was something that went across the entire gamut of all the uh, car manufacturers. There are a few exceptions to that, but for the most part, they did that for two reasons. For design characteristics to make the cars look longer, wider, whatever, plus the dual headlights would help for visibility. At night it was an, a safety issue, if you will, plus it, like I say, made changes to all the design. 1958 Cadillac, uh, El Dorado Baritz, I mean the El Dorados came out in 53. Now you really have a high-end automobile here with lots and lots of standard options because the El Dorado Baritz was the top of the food chain, if you will, at the Cadillac uh, manufacturing plant and this car costs almost $7,500 new. That was a ton of money back in 1958, but you know, if you're looking for something that was special at the time, this is probably it. Beautiful argyle blue, the paint, that's the original color for this particular car, with the same color interior, leather interior like they're supposed to have. Since it was the top of the line, it has lots and lots of options. Underneath the hood, of course, a 365 Cadillac V8, giving it plenty of power to move this land yacht, if we want to call it, big car down the road. You need a lot of horsepower under there, and this particular car has a really nice detailed engine compartment, big four-barrel carburetor. It can get you where you need to go. Plus, it has power steering, and it has power brakes. Power steering, of course, is really important on a car like this back even in 1958 for parking, driving, and whatever. So it's a, one of those nice things, automatic transmission, hydromatic, you put it in gear, anybody can jump in this car and drive it, and that's probably one of the nice features of this particular car. One of the biggest improvements that all these cars out of the 50s have now, or have the opportunity to have now, is the fact they can have the radio wide white walls. White walls would be very correct for this car in 1958. And uh, radial tires are just a better tire, safer, goes down the road, better handling, all those things really, really make a nice improvement. Now this car has one of those rare optional Sabre wheels and they are in really good condition. Some of those can show a little bit more age uh, wear on them, whatever, but these happen to be a really, really nice set. And uh, that was just one of those other options that was over and above the options you got with this car. Let's go into some more of the details of the rest of the interior on this car. You know, obviously has a, a power top. It's got a uh, nice cloth top that goes with it. 
uh, very, very nice. It's a, a blue top, so it matches the car. The interior in these cars was really special. I mean, the seats are very comfortable. They're leather and everything matches very, very nice. If you look in the door panels, it actually makes sure to say that it is a Beritz. Now, Beritz was a town in southern France is where that name came from. I mean, they, that's, that's what they used. Someone came up with that as a novel idea. So that's, that's where that uh, name came from. Now, this particular car has lots of like standard options. Once you have the El Dorado, that is the real high end. You've got power windows. You have a power seat. You have uh, a power top, of course. And it also has this really interesting option, the Audtronic Eye, which is, believe it or not, an automatic headlight dimming device. Back in the day, when you go down a road, whatever, car comes at you, you have high beams on, it will click them off to low beam upon meeting an oncoming car and click back on to high when you get past. Talk about ideas. I mean, they had those ideas way before, you know, we thought they're new today in this day and age. 1958, they still had something. Nice car came out of a collection out down south, you know, North Carolina. So it's always been in the hands of collectors. Of course, these are such rare cars anyway. It's just one of those things that someone's taken very, very good care of this car. I'm looking at the interior. Everything is nice, nice carpet, you know, power brakes, power steering, all those things as well. Very, very nice. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and TikTok as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. And you have all the information on this car, our current inventory, and as kind of an added bonus, we have cars that we've sold over the years that are also available to watch there. So if you got some time to peruse the internet or those sites, I'm sure you'll enjoy it a lot. No, this car has lots and lots of special features. Look at this, here's another one of those things. It's got the classic parade boot. Now you go, what's that? Well, that was a fiberglass parade boot rather than a cloth one because these cars, many people who own them are asked, can you do a parade? Can you be the king and queen candidates for homecoming or, or whatever, the Aquitennial parade here in, in Minnesota? These cars are always in demand for that kind of stuff and whatever. So if you have the hard, uh, the hard boot, you can actually sit on it and it won't cause any damage to the soft convertible top. So very, very nice. I just love those little fins on this car. I mean, the back end on this car is very, very unique. Dual exhaust gives a nice throaty sound, just very nice going down the road, whatever. And talk about room in the trunk. Oh my gosh, if you go to the local uh, golf course and you need to have a couple of sets of clubs in there, boy, there's lots and lots of room in that trunk. You know, in the old days, it was where, how you got into the movies. Don't want to go there, but that's something that <clears throat> many of us will remember those stories. No, it's just one of those really, really interesting cars. Don't see them for sale very often. But if you're like me, you're going to say, you know, I really want to come down to Ellingson's and take a look at it. Be our guest. We are here Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So come on down. Make sure you fit in the car. It's everything that we tell you it is. And you can also give me a call. I mean, you can give any of our staff here. We're always willing to help, try to do our best to answer any questions you may have at 763-428-7337. You got a question about financing, you got questions about transportation, other details of the cars or whatever, we're here to help during our regular business hours. So if you're really looking for something unusual, you want something that not everybody else in the world has, it's just sitting right here on our sales floor at Ellingson. So uh, thank you again for watching, and we will hopefully see you next time at EllingsonMotorCars.com.